Paul Pogba, World Cup winner, world champion. I think it's time quite a few people apologise to Paul Pogba. Pogba, as I said, World Cup winner. Absolutely buzzing for him. After what has been a couple of years of people just wanting him to fail. But he didn't fail at the World Cup. Fantastic in the final. Fantastic in the semi-final as well. Wicked against Belgium, wicked against Croatia. And so many people, they really wanted Pogba to not play well. But he's won the League Cup with Man United, the Europa League. And now he is world champion at 23. And he played in a two-man midfield alongside N'Golo Kante, a position where so many people say that he cannot play. He played it, and he played it very, very well in a disciplined sort of role. Jose Mourinho will be loving what he saw with Paul Pogba out of the World Cup. And I certainly did. I still think he will become the world's best midfielder. Give him another two, three years when he's properly matured. I can see it being the case. And you can't argue with his resume either. You know, he's won Serie A, won the Coppa Italia, been in Champions League's finals, he's won the Europa League, just needs to win the Premier League with Man United. Hopefully this year it's going to happen. And if it does happen, Paul Pogba is going to play such a crucial role in that. And now at Manchester United, we've got the midfield, hopefully, that can get the most out of Paul Pogba. We've signed Fred from Shakhtar Donetsk, a dynamic mobile midfielder who can add legs in and around that midfield, hopefully, so that Pogba doesn't have to defend too much. Then you've got Nemanja Matic, the cleaner sweeper, the person who will defend and make sure that that wall is sat in front of the defence, leaving Paul Pogba to do what he does best. And for me, that is create and score goals. Got a couple of goals at the World Cup and he got goals and assists as well for United last season. His passing range is a very dynamic, complete player. But Graham Souness, a man who still, even though Paul Pogba is a world champion, refuses to give him a compliment, just needs to sit there and eat humble pie. Because you're all wrong about Pogba. Everybody knew you were wrong about Pogba and he's showing it and he's proving it on the biggest stage in world football. And I think it's a fucking high time that some of these pundits that came out and just permanently criticised Paul Pogba for what he did to his hair, how he danced on social media, trying to concentrate on little tiny negatives and ignoring the fact that he is a world-class footballer. Now, as a world champion, you can't get any better than that as an international player. We've still got the Champions League that we're chasing. In a few years' time, hopefully we can get to that level where we can compete for it again. And Paul Pogba is going to be a United player for years to come, I hope. And I do think he will become the world's best midfielder. But what we saw at that World Cup was what Man United fans have been seeing this season. It's just that the other players around him hadn't been playing to that level. If we can do that this year, now we look like more of a team and Pogba can be the catalyst, just like he was and we were 2-0 down against Man City at the Etihad. Who scored two goals to bring us back? It was Paul Pogba. Yes, there have been games where he went invisible, but next season, I think he's going to be the best player in the Premier League. And if Man United do get anywhere near to winning that league, Paul Pogba is going to play a huge role in that. So big congratulations to Paul Pogba for winning the World Cup. And it's about time plenty of pundits, I'm looking at you, Graham Sooners, first and foremost, need to apologise to Pogba because he is world class and he deserves all the credit in the world.